Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I haven't said that in so long. I miss you guys, I miss my YouTube fam. I just love getting on here, it's such a safe space. I promise I'm back, life has been hectic. A little bit of an update is I got my boobs done. I've had so many questions on my social media about what I got done. I thought I would jump on here and answer some of my most asked questions. First thing first, I got a breast lift. I wanted to get a lift and implants, um, but the doctor suggested I do the lift first and then six months later, if I still want the implants, then do the implants. So far, I've had a little sneak peek and I'm super happy. And obviously if you don't have to get implants, it's better not to. So I'll see how I go and I'll update you guys with that. But I did about four consultations before picking who I went with and all of them suggested the same thing that's how I knew it's a common thing with me this is I'm talking about myself I'm not sure about anyone else first thing first recovery I've been spending a lot of time right here on this bed and I'll tell you what you need a comfy place to recover lots of pillows and a comfy space to relax and recover. This is where I've been. I obviously have my really comfy mattress from Emma Mattress. It's the hybrid diamond, which is freaking so soft. And all of my pillows are from Emma Mattress too. I'll show you guys. So the pillows that I have are the diamond hybrid as well. And they have like these inserts so that you can kind of make them more firm if you like firmness. And with me recovering, I really do like the firmness and I pretty much have like a hundred pillows around me because you need to recover and sleep sitting like up. That's why I have so many. I actually have a discount code for their biggest sale, their end of financial year sale. So I will pop my code on the screen and I will also pop it in the description. If you are looking at getting anything from their website, you guys know I freaking love their mattresses and pillows. This is how I've pretty much been positioned. I'll show you guys with um, recovering. So I have like pillows all around me. Pretty much sleeping like this. And sometimes I'll even put one like underneath my leg like this and like just. One of the most asked questions that I got was how much did I pay? So I'm not gonna mention the exact amount, but I'm gonna tell you guys a thing that I noticed when doing my consult. With some of the doctors that I consulted with, they added $10,000 because they put me to stay overnight in hospital. For me, like I mentioned, this is my own experience. Like everyone is so different, but for me, I have been quite good with the pain. Thankfully, I have just been okay taking the lighter stuff. I haven't had to have the strong pain meds, which has been great. So really there is no need for me to have stayed in a hospital overnight. And that hospital fee was an extra $10,000 on top. A lot of questions regarding what to have prepared and organized for when you get home from your surgery. Number one is lots of loose jackets like this like oversize borrow like your partners your husbands your brothers because you don't want to be like lifting your arms and putting on jumpers or putting on shirts you want to be able to just zip it up and down i have literally been living in my husband's jackets like this for the past week so gorgeous number two make sure you have some ice packs so i have some in the freezer and i will just pop them on if they feel a little bit sore another is have a really good size drink bottle stay hydrated so i have a giant drink bottle and I just leave it beside my bed and I'm constantly just refilling that and drinking that and then track pants make sure you've got some comfy track pants on I'm wearing some leggings now but majority of the first few days I was just wearing track pants because you just want to be comfy and you don't want to put any pressure like anything that's like tight to put on you don't want to do I honestly feel like the most important thing with surgery is to make sure you have your support person there like I went in clueless I literally thought I was going to call an uber home from the surgery like and just then recover in bed but no that is not how they do it they actually don't let you leave the hospital without having someone who like comes and picks you up and they get all their details so my husband came with me and thank god for that because you're so out of it like you're feeling a bit dizzy and tired and sluggish and like you know just waking up from surgery 
so thank God <laughs> I got him. So make sure you have someone to pick you up and look after you for the first, I think, is it 48 hours just to get you food and like help you get up and down and get changed, get you whatever you need, just be like there to help. If you have kids, I would recommend having someone that's going to watch them. You can't really get up and go and cook dinner and hang out. Like you can if you had to, but for me, I just totally milked having to stay in bed. I was like, I cannot do anything for any of you guys. Go and ask your dad. I am recovering here. But for Giselle, there is no way I could be lifting her. So make sure you have someone that's going to help you with your baby or toddler. Like if you have a child that needs to be lifted because you can't lift anything. Another question was about the pain, which I briefly mentioned. For me, it wasn't that bad, but Everyone is so different, so that's really hard for me to explain. And also a lift and implants, I think, can be really different with the pain. I've had a lot of questions about how long I have to be bandaged and wear this supportive bra. So if you get like a supportive like surgery bra, I don't know what you call it, but it pretty much just like has to stay on for six weeks. So I have bandages on underneath and I'm sure every doctor's different, but mine, um, at the two week mark, I will take these ones off and clean it and then put new ones on for another two weeks. So for me, it's about four weeks of bandages and then um, I can start using like my scar creams, which will be really good on the scars. I have been getting LED light therapy every second day since being back on the Gold Coast. And I'm obviously super lucky that I own a skin clinic. So we have the LED lights there, but I would definitely recommend to book, pre-book a package of like five LED light treatments. And pretty much what it will do is you'll lie down underneath the LED, even though you've got your bandages, it penetrates through and it will just help speed up the recovery. And then it's also good for scarring afterwards. So it's just something that I will continue to do. Overall, I've been really happy with the whole experience. As you guys know, I did a little bit of a runaway surgery experience in the past about 10 years ago when I was going to get my boobs done and I just panicked and I literally left the surgery with like all the markups on me and just left which I don't regret like I definitely feel like go with your gut like your gut's never wrong but at the same time I'm so glad I did it because I have been wanting this for a while. I'm so happy with how many babies I have. We are so content with our full house. Overall the experience has been really good so i will keep you guys updated with the whole recovery and once i can get this bandages off and the next steps i really want to be transparent with you guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon